What up? K Rug, SoberDogs.com with Gemma. Say hi, Gemma. Oh, he's got the treat. Sorry about the lighting in the shade. I don't have fancy equipment and editing stuff. I got an iPhone and a $20 stand I got on Amazon. That's all I got. I'm a cook at a restaurant, but I'm here to try to give any information I can to help people in recovery. So please help me out. Hit that subscribe, hit that like. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I want to talk today about the saying, being selfish in sobriety. A lot of people say that, and it's, I think it's misunderstood. You know, isn't the whole point of a lot of the 12-step programs to not be selfish and help other people? And this saying really got me, too, in the beginning. Selfish in sobriety, I didn't get it, and I didn't, just didn't make sense to me. But now I understand it. To me, the term being selfish in sobriety applies to certain things you may have to do to keep your side of the street clean, so to speak. What that means is... If I'm going to a family gathering and there's a lot of drinking there. Oh. Gemma's Gemma's getting going. She doesn't like drinking at the family gathering either. Hey! Quiet. If I'm going to this family gathering and there's a lot of drinking there. Hey! I might have to leave early. And if I just leave without saying bye to people. Come here, come here, quiet. That's okay. Sorry for the distraction. If I have to leave, that's okay. That's being selfish to keep my side of the street clean, but that's not a bad thing. Certain people might have some you know, feelings, why didn't you say bye, this or that? But at that point in time, my sobriety was most important. I had to do that. If I didn't do that, I might have relapsed and then I'm no good to any of my family. So I'd rather have them be mad because I didn't stop and say bye for two seconds than them have to come bail me out of jail or come see me in a, a casket because I went out and got high and OD. So things like that to me are what this whole selfish and sobriety thing means. Another example would be, you know, they say you have to change people, places and things. So there might be some people, and again, this includes family, that you have to say, I'm sorry, but you're out of my life. And that is an unbelievably hard and terrible and rough thing to do, but it is life and death for many people. So if I have to tell somebody who's a bad influence, even if it's a family member, I can't be around you, we can't do this, um, you know, I'll see you once a year at this or that event, but... Hey, I got to do it because if I don't, literally, I might either be back in prison or dead. So it's unbelievably critical that I keep my side of the street clean. I do what I need to do for my sobriety today. And sometimes that might mean putting somebody else's needs for a little bit on the back burner. But the people in my life that understand I have to do that if not I'm no good to them at all because if I relapse and go back out there I'm not reliable I'm not around I'm I'm stealing I'm lying I'm cheating so they would rather have me say sorry I can't give you a ride at 10 a.m. because I got to do this or that versus where's Kyle oh he's been gone for two months we have no idea so that's the whole term selfish and sobriety it's about keeping your side in check, keeping you, you do what you have to do each day to stay sober. And then as you get better at doing that and as you have a solid program, you can help more people. Because you can't help anybody unless you can help yourself. That saying is 100% true in, in any aspect. You know, you can't, you can't help somebody financially if you're not financially set. You can't help somebody physically if you don't keep your body physically in check. 
and same thing with sobriety. I, I can't be a good son, a good uncle, a good brother to my family, a, a good father to my doggies, if I can't even keep, you know, my own hygiene and daily routine in check because I'm out running the streets. So you have to keep your sobriety in check. That's got to be the first thing. Because if your sobriety falls, if you let your sobriety go, everything else is gone. Everything after that will go too. So it has to be first. Especially if you're like me. So please hit that subscribe, hit that like so I can get more addiction information out there. Sorry for the dog barking. It is what it is. I am Sober Dogs channel, so there's going to be dogs. Alright? See ya.